Hello friends, the Galaxy S20 Ultra has become the most successful Android smartphone in 2022. Although the year is not over yet. What do we know about the Galaxy S23 Ultra? And you know what? We know a lot. Some of the information is available from popular insiders, some from chipset manufacturers. There will be a ton of hidden improvements in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Every smartphone has pros and cons and the Galaxy S22 Ultra is no exception. What should Samsung improve in the Galaxy S23 Ultra? Let's talk about it, let's go. It seems to me that the design of the Galaxy S23 Ultra need to change. At least the design of the smartphone's cameras. Unfortunately, this will not happen. The appearance of the smartphone will not change much. These are the dimensions of the new device. I would like the Galaxy S23 Ultra to look more like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. You have to agree, the Galaxy Note looked really cool. But unfortunately, this will not happen. What's going to change about the screen of the Galaxy S23 Ultra? Yes, it will become a little brighter and contrast year, but it's hard to revolutionize here. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will have the same screen at 6.8 inches and a resolution by 388 by 1440 pixels. But there is one significant change that applies to the device's screen. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will have a new fingerprint scanner from Qualcomm. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will exclusively rely on Qualcomm's 3D Sonic Max fingerprint scanning technology. The technology has several advantages including a wider scanning area as well as multi-fingerprint input. Moreover, the sensor also uses anti-spoofing security on top of a much faster response time compared to the current in-display fingerprint solutions. The most important update that could affect the new Galaxy S23 line of smartphones is the complete rejection of the Exynos processor. Did you know that out of 100% of the Galaxy S20 sold, 30% are powered by Exynos processors? I own one of those Galaxy S20 Ultras and I'd rather have the Qualcomm version. This processor will improve smartphone uptime by 15%, increase performance by 20% and most importantly reduce the heat of the device under heavy loads. But that's not all. The new memory and battery. Galaxy S23 Ultra will be the first smartphone with the new type of memory, UFC 4.0, and a new type of battery with 5000's capacity. The battery capacity has not changed much in recent years, but the size of battery, thanks to the new layout, will change a lot. This will give Samsung the opportunity to place in the Galaxy S23 Ultra body better cooling for the processor and install a larger camera. It's officially confirmed. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will have a new 200 megapixel camera. Here is how Samsung describe it. For ultimate low light photography, the IsoCell HP1 feature is all new chameleon cell technology, a pixel binding technology that uses a 2x2, 4x4, or full pixel layout depending on the environment. In a low light environment, the HP1 transforms into a 12 megapixel image sensor with large pixels by merging six neighboring pixels. The newly formed pixels is capable of more light absorption and sensitivity, producing brighter and clearer photos indoors or in the evening. That's all guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and don't miss a new video. Bye!